Hi, let's quickly walk through what exercises are so that you can see how they work and how they can be used to enhance your training at no extra cost. For example, here I'm in the Linux Plus LPIC Level 1 exam course, and as part of this course syllabus, we see that there are many different exercises. These exercises are embedded in our courses to help you practice what you just learned on actual real servers. So here, for example, let's click on cron jobs. This exercise lets you practice what you just learned about cron jobs by listing out five different steps for you to follow. You can also eventually access the solutions in case you want to double check your work or in case you're having a difficult time figuring it out. So let's go ahead and launch a server where we will then log in and see how that works. Here you'll notice we have multiple different distributions, but for this example, I'll leave it on CentOS 7. Then I'll click on server actions and create the server. After a brief moment, we'll see the status change and we'll also get public IP information. So as you can see, now we have a public IP, we also have a private IP, as well as public host names, and the status is running. So now that we have this public IP, we can grab it and copy it, and we'll jump into our terminal, and we'll use this public IP address to SSH into the server. And we know how to do that because if we look under the lab FAQ, we see that we have a default server user, a default server password, as well as a default root password, which are 123456. Because these are very insecure passwords, the first step we'll take when we go into the server is change the passwords. So let's see how we can do that. Let me jump over to my terminal. And from there, I'll type ssh user at, and then I'll paste the public IP address and press enter. I'll type yes. And then I'll type my password, which is 123456. And I'm now logged in to my server. So again, the first step we need to take is to change our user password. I can do that typing passwd. It will ask you for your current Unix password, which is 123456. And then it will ask you for the new password, which I'll just do test123456. As you can see, it says that this is a bad password because it's too similar to the old one. So instead, I'll type in a completely different password. Now I have to retype that same password and I have a successful update for my password. It is now a stronger password. You need to remember it because otherwise you won't be able to log back into the server. The next step I wanna take is log in as the root user. I can do that typing SU. The default root password was 123456. And as soon as I log in as the root user, I'm immediately forced to change my password. Again, I need to type in 123456 because it's asking you for the current password. And then I'll type in a new password. Retype it here, and we're good to go. We are now ready to go back to the exercise and plug in our information. So let me close this control panel, and I can always get back to it by clicking on servers. But now that I'm back on this page, I need to refresh this page in order to select my server. And I can do that by clicking here. If I have multiple servers, I'll see all of the different available options, and I need to choose the server where I'll be performing these steps, which is server number one. Then you see that we have a new button, which is named Submit Section for Grading. Now, even though I haven't completed any of these five steps that are listed here, I'm going to click this button to see what happens. It asks us if we're sure to submit for grading. I'll say yes. It will work behind the scenes to check if you've successfully completed the steps. And of course, since I didn't do that, it will not let me pass. So let's scroll down a little bit, and we see we have five different results, all of which are incorrect. If I had successfully completed the first step and the second step, but none of the other three steps, we would see correct for the first two and incorrect for the other three ones. That way you can go back and you can try to fix what went wrong. If you still don't know what happened or how to fix it, you can click on see solution. And this will show you how to complete each step. So now I can copy these commands, and I can go back to my server and paste them in here. And now that I've completed step number one, I can go back to this page and I can retake the cron jobs. I still have the same server, submit section for grading, and the first step should be correct. As you see, step number one is correct, but the other four are incorrect. That way you can progress through each step until you get all of them right. And this is the power of exercises on the Linux Academy platform. 
you perform steps on a real server just like you would for your job and you get feedback directly from our system to help you learn. And just as a reminder, this feature is included in every single Linux Academy membership at no extra cost and there are no hidden fees. Thank you and I hope you enjoy.